Welcome to another session of Chiz Tips. I'm your host, Alexander Chisley. And today we're going to talk about how to design a brown lunch bag. Okay. Um, so to get started, let's talk about the materials that you need. Pencil, eraser, markers, Sharpie for outlining, color pencils for uh, extra details at the end, and of course, some type of reference. And today, um, to continue my theme, we're going to stay in uh, nostalgic cartoons from the 90s and 80s. So we're going to be doing the real Ghostbusters. And I'll be drawing Egon today. So that's what I'm going to be looking at. All right. So let's go ahead and get started. The first thing you want to do is sketch. Um, do a basic sketch of whatever you're trying to color. You want to start with uh, basic shapes. Um, go general to specific. Um, and then large to small. Draw light to dark. Um, and then add the details at the end as you go. Be very loose. Um, and then just kind of figure it out. Go from there. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and get started. Um, so for his head, it's kind of long, elongated. So I'm going to use a rectangle as the main base shape. And I'm going to curve the top and the bottom. And I'm going to use another rectangle here um, for the neck. And I'm going to use a square across the bottom and go to the body. All right. Um, also... When I'm uh, illustrating these things, I also put the name at the top. I'll be using my daughter's name and I'm going to use the same font as the cartoon that I'm doing. So, for example, today, the font will look very um, real Ghostbuster ish um, with my daughter's name at the top. All right. So I have my general shapes and now I'm going to go back in and just keep plotting the other shapes again, largest to smallest shapes. <laughs> Adding the details, okay? Shapes and lines create all compositions. And like I said, you can be very loose at this stage because these aren't your finalized lines, but you just want to capture the essence of the figure that you're drawing. And if you're making a mistake, it's okay. It's just a pencil. Just go ahead and erase it and keep it going. Growing up, this is definitely one of my favorite cartoons. Uh, definitely loved the movie when I was a kid. Um, and I still love watching the movie to this day with my daughter. I was actually watching it with her yesterday. It's a good time. And you see that I'm not really thinking too much about the lines. I am just looking at my image, looking back at my picture, and just recording the lines that I see. Okay? Don't ever... Overthink this part of this, uh, the phase of the, the illustration, um, the sketching phase. You just want to record everything that you see and work your pencil around the whole image um, so you can get the image that you're looking for. All right, so I feel like the body shape is good. Go to the next largest shape, which is to me the nose. The mouth, the lips here, the bottom lip there, the glasses are in the image, they're like hang at the bottom of the nose. And eyebrows up here at the top. And then the eyes up here as well. OK, 
can uh, lightly erase the lines you don't need. the rest of the neck here. Get the shoulders with the proton pack. And that square back here on the back to record that proton pack at the bottom. All right, so now that you have your basic image drawn down and it looks pretty good to you, the next part is a simple outline. Okay. Um, and what you do is you're going to refine your lines with a Sharpie or a darker marker or a darker pencil, whatever you have at your disposal. Um, that is what you're going to do your outline with. I'm just making a couple more lines before I go in uh, with my Sharpie. Um, Okay. So now I'm going to take my Sharpie here and I'm just going to outline the lines that I made. Um, when you're outlining, sometimes it's helpful to rotate the paper if you need to, to keep it lined up with your, your hand so you can make straight lines. Um, I do that often. So if you see me rotating the paper, that's why. True story. The reason why I started doing this was um, just just a little conversation piece with my daughter. Um, she had started asking me to draw something cool on her lunch boxes, and I was like, "Sure." And then after I did one, I was like, "Man, I kind of like doing this," and I just kind of just kept it going, asking her who her favorite characters were, um, and it just gives us something to talk about. It's also cool to for your kids. Outside of, you know, TikTok and all that social media stuff, they can have a nice conversation piece about, you know, a cartoon or a movie that they saw with their friends. Um, and I think it's just another way to be communicative and teach those uh, social skills. Um, This is also cool because at this point, say you don't like something, um, this is when you can go and edit it and change it um, with the Sharpie. Um, you just gotta be sure that you're happy with whatever you change because the Sharpie is a permanent marker. Okay. All right, and there you have it. And then the last part, the last phase, my favorite phase is coloring. 
So if you want, you can go through and kind of hit this with an eraser, kind of clean it up a little bit. Okay. And then you just go and you take the colors that you see and you just go ahead and you color it. And I'm just using Crayolas. I have other markers that I like to use, but this gets the job done too. And Crayolas are cool because they have a nice mixing component. Um, the people really don't really talk about all like that. Um, a quick way to cover quickly an image is when you're coloring is use the side, the broad side of the marker. I colors quickly to get depth in an image. You could either overlap it with the marker itself, or you can go back over it with a gray, which I have um, to get to put in shadows, so on and so forth. 